Hey guys, I have a huge haul for you today. Every single polish is from China Glaze. So if you don't like China Glaze, you're not gonna like this video. I was kind of behind on collections and I needed some, like desperately needed some, just because some of the colors were like perfect and I don't have anything like them. I went ahead and bought three 12 piece collections and then I also bought two six piece collections. So I have 48 polishes from Head to Toe Beauty. Each one was $3.25 and the shipping was, I think, 20 bucks. If you want to do the math there, you can figure it out. But when I order from Head to Toe Beauty, I always order a ton of polishes because of the shipping price. It like, it balances it out. There's a lot of polish here. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have the Halloween collection. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Apocalypse of Color. China Glaze Apocalypse of Color, I think that's what it's called. And then I have the China Glaze Surprise Collection. I also have the Offshore Collection, which was like the neon from this past summer. I also have the Giver Collection, which is apparently limited edition, so of course I was like, kind of need that. And then I got the most recent Fall Collection, which is the, is it All Aboard or On Board? I can't remember. I think it's all aboard. Dang it. I cannot remember any of these polish collection names. I just know that they're pretty. Yes, the all aboard collection. I'm going to start with the Halloween collection. So the first one that I have is Rest in Pieces and it is a gold holographic glitter. There's some bar glitter. There's some hex glitter and there's also some small and large black hex glitters in it as well. So if you're not a huge fan of bar glitter, you may not like this one. However, I have heard quite a few people that have picked this up even though that they hate the bar glitter because it is really pretty. The next one is Getting to Gnaw You and it is a black base with lots of kind of goldish bronze glitter in it. This one is pretty opaque. I did try this one on my nail and it's not one of those with a sheer base so this one is really easy to build up. The next one is I Love Your Guts and this one is a red cream with black glitter in it. This one dries a little bit matte. It has like this weird kind of texture to it because I did try this one as well but it's actually pretty cool. I kind of like the way it dries and the base is a little bit metallic. The next one is Don't Let the Dead Bite. This one is supposed to look like blood splatter, I'm pretty sure. It is like this nude, jelly, creamy kind of base. And then it has different red glitters in it. I think there's some smaller hex glitters, um, even smaller red hex glitters. And then there's kind of these super, super tiny bar glitters. They're like really, really tiny. So if you're not a fan of bar glitter, I'm pretty sure these won't bother you. But this one is different from any other polish I've seen, so I'm pretty surprised that China Glaze released this one. But I really like the way it looks in the bottle. I haven't really had a chance to try it on my nails. This next one is similar to I Love Your Guts, but it's called Butt of Corpse. And it's a metallic -y green with black glitter in it. And this also has that weird kind of matte finish. These ones dry really quickly. So this one's pretty cool. I'm loving like the whole zombie names. And the next one, which is one that China Glaze releases every single year with their Halloween collection, is Ghoulish Glow. I never really picked this one up before just because I didn't really have a need for glow-in-the-dark nail polish. And a lot of people say that this doesn't really glow that well. Um, I haven't tried it, but I also have the Wet n Wild, the Fantasy Makers Glow, so maybe I'll do like a comparison of the two. But I kind of gave in this year because this is the first Halloween collection that I bought and I just went ahead and bought the Ghoulish Glow since I didn't already have it. Now the next collection is the Surprise Collection and these are all kind of like the chunky glitter polishes. They're ones that are kind of hard to get out of the bottle. They're not too horrible, but I mean, they're ones where if you can't get any on the brush, you're kind of going to have to fish for the hex glitter. So they're all hex glitters in a clear base. The first one is Don't Be a Flake, and this one has turquoise blue glitter with some pink holographic glitter and some black glitter. So the blue and the black are matte glitters, and then the pink ones are holographic metallic. The next one is I'm a Go Glitter. 
This one has the same kind of turquoise blue glitter. This one also has... They're kind of like yellowish green. Not really sure if they're yellow or green. And then there are also some metallic pink hex glitters. And the metallic pink hex glitters are a little bit smaller than the yellowish green and the turquoise ones. The next one is Create a Spark. This one has some holographic pink glitter that is metallic. There are smaller purple hex glitters that are metallic, and then there are matte black. I really like this one. This one's pretty cool. The next one is Glimmer More. This one's also really cool. This one's pretty like Valentine's Day, fall kind of colors. This one is yellow hex glitter. There's also some, hmm, it's like yellow hex glitter. There's orange glitter, like peachy glitter. There's a little bit of pink, light pink glitter, and then there's darker metallic pink glitter. The next one is Glitter Up. This one has the blue turquoise glitter, the purple metallic glitter, and then there's also the peachy and the light pink hex glitters as well. And the last one from this collection is Shine Nanigans. This one has some metallic pink and purple hex glitters, and then there is also the yellow matte glitter hexes. So that one's pretty cool as well. I put off getting this collection just because I didn't think I was going to use them, but I kind of decided that I needed them. <laughs> the next collection that I'm going to show you is the Offshore, so that is the Neon-y Bright collection. The first one is If In Doubt, Surf It Out. This is a bright peachy orange cream. The next one is Stoked To Be Soaked, and this is another orange cream. This one is more of a true orange, bright, bright orange compared to the first one. So you can see them next to each other here. So they're definitely different. The next one is Seize the Day. This is a red cream. The next one is Do Our Thing. And this one is a pinkish purple cream. This one is Ecstasy. And this is just a purple cream. I really like this one. I have a new obsession with purple, so I pretty much need every purple polish that I see. The next one is I See the Point, and this is a blue cream. I feel like this one has a little bit of purple in it, but it's definitely still blue, if that makes any sense. The next one is Wait and See. This is a turquoise tealish cream color. This one's really pretty. really like this one. This one is Be More Pacific. And this one is like a greenish yellow. And then the next one is Sure Enough, and this is more of a green. And this one is also a cream. If you want to see those two next to each other, that's what they look like. One's just lighter than the other. Definitely different. And then there's Sun Upon My Skin, and this is the yellow cream. This one is Feel the Breeze, and it is a light pink neon. And then the other pink in the collection is Float On, and this is just a little bit darker than the previous one, and it is also a cream. So there are the two pinks next to each other. So I wasn't really too excited for the Offshore collection. I kind of have colors that are similar, but not exactly. And I pretty much bought them all just because they were creams, because I do have a lot of neons that kind of have some shimmer in it, and I don't really like that. Because um, sometimes I go to grab for a polish, and I'm like, yes, I have this neon color, but then it has shimmer, and it just kind of ruins what I was trying to do. So I basically picked them up because they were all creams. The next collection that I picked up is the Giver collection, and this is limited edition, so they actually have like the Giver written on the top of the bottle, and it says limited edition. Um, I've never seen Channel Glaze do that before, so it kind of gives the bottles this neat look, at least I think it looks kind of cool, especially if you have a lot of them. It's like, 
I have this collection. But I've never seen them do this before, so I don't know if they're going to keep doing this with the, their limited collections. But apparently The Giver is a book that was made into a movie. I know nothing about it. I really haven't even seen anything about the movie, and I've never read the book. So if you've read the book or seen the movie, let me know what you think. Maybe I'll actually read the book. The first one is Boundary of Memory. This is a kind of brown and black micro glitter. I really like these glitters that China Glaze makes, but sometimes it's really difficult to see what colors are in it because they're so tiny. These are one of the glitters by China Glaze where you can get them completely opaque in two coats. I absolutely love these kinds of glitters from China Glaze. If they would make an entire collection, I don't know if some of you remember when they made the China Glaze specialty glitters kind of collection. I wish that they would do a collection like that with just these micro glitters and have like a color of every color imaginable or a polish of every color imaginable imaginable because I freaking love them. Like China Glaze I'm Not Lion, Glistening Snow, Angel Wings. There's other ones that I can't think of right now, but they are amazing. I love that you can get them completely opaque. So China Glaze, if someone from China Glaze is watching this right now, make a collection with these fine micro glitters because I would buy every single one of them and I know there are a lot of people out there that would do the same. The next one is Community and this is just a brown cream. The next one is Five Rules. This one is a little bit of an oddball. It's kind of like a, a putty, whitish, grayish color. I'm not really sure. Like if you know what sticky tack looks like, if you know what I'm talking about, that's kind of what this reminds me of because it's not white, it's not really gray, but it also has like a little bit of this weird kind of taupe look to it. It's pretty color. The next one is Seeing Red. This is just a red cream. This one is a little bit darker than your standard red. Not too much darker. It's pretty much just a red cream. Nothing too exciting. The next one is History of the World. This is a purple cream. This one's a little bit grayed out. This isn't a straight up purple but it's really nice. I really like this one. The next one is Intelligence, Integrity, and Courage. It's a really long name, but this one is a light gray cream. I've been searching for a light gray cream. I know there are a lot out there, but I just haven't really found one that I liked, so I finally found this one. Haven't had a chance to try it yet, but it looks pretty promising. The next one is New Birth, and this one you might think it's white, but when you have it next to a solid white, it's actually tinted blue. So it is a very, very, very light blue polish. It's actually what I have on my nails right now with um, another polish over it, which I will get to later. So compared to a regular white, this one is a little bit blue. I'm actually really liking this one because sometimes I don't want like the complete white look, I want a little bit of kind of like an off color, especially if you're using like cool toned colors. Sometimes you don't really want that stark white. You kind of want like a cool toned blue or like a cool toned white, if that makes any sense. And this is perfect for that kind of stuff. There's also another polish in here, which I will get to, which I will compare, which is kind of the same, but it's pink. The next one is Capacity to See Beyond. This is a bright blue cream. This one is so pretty. This is one that my sister has been looking for, like a color like this. I know there are a lot similar, but this is one that she's kind of, she has kind of claimed that she's going to be using. The next one is Giver's Theme. This is another purple polish. It's kind of like one of those pinkish purples. So it's kind of like a mix between the two. But this one and the last one are kind of like the pops of color for the collection other than like the red. And the next one is Friends Forever, right? And this is the one that I was talking about. This is the other kind of slightly off-white one, but this is the pink one. So it's basically like white with one drop of pink in it. So to compare, 
This is the light blue one and this is the light pink one. So you can kind of tell that they're different, but if you don't have them right next to each other, they look kind of the same. But you can definitely tell when they're next to like a solid white. The next one is Release. And this is another kind of like a purplish gray. It's like in between the two. It's like gray with like a drop of purple. It's really pretty. I really like this one. And the last one of this collection is the Outer Edge. And this one is a super pretty. It's like silver glitter and white glitter. I have it on top of this one, which is, what was this one? New Birth. Whoa. So on my nails is New Birth, and then I have the outer edge over top it. So you can see there's some white specks and some silver specks. This is one that I don't really think you can get opaque on its own. It's pretty sheer, and it would take a lot of coats to kind of get it opaque, but personally, I don't think you should really make this one opaque because it's so pretty just putting it over other colors. It adds like this nice little sparkle and white. So I have it over kind of a light color, but I think this will be super pretty over a dark color. I just dropped my phone. So if you have it over a dark color, you'll definitely be able to see like the white specks, but I really like that there's some kind of shiny silver specks in it as well. And the glitter is super tiny. And the last collection that I have to show you is the All Aboard collection. And this one is the most recent fall collection. This one I saw and I wasn't really going to get it, but the more I looked at the polishes, I was like, I really need them. So I say that about every collection. What am I talking about? But there are a few polishes in here that I really, really liked and I'm really glad that I got them, especially one. I just dropped my phone again. There's one polish in this collection that I had to order from Amazon. Um, because it wasn't available on Head to Toe Beauty. It is like extremely talked about in the nail blogging world. Basically, people have been raving about it like crazy. So it was sold out on Head to Toe Beauty. If it's sold out on Head to Toe Beauty, try going to 88 Beauty, get it on Amazon, go to your local beauty supply, which I don't even know if they'll have it because my Sally's doesn't have crap when it comes to China Glaze. I swear they never have a full China Glaze collection and it makes me so angry. I will get to that polish in a couple seconds because it's like the second one I'm going to show you. So the first one in this collection is Don't Get Derailed. And this one is kind of an olivey green. It's a little grayed out. And the polish that every single person is talking about from this collection is this bad boy. Now, this one is kind of a duochrome. So dual duochrome means that it kind of shines different colors. So what I have to say before I even show you this polish is if you are thinking about getting this polish, um, which you should because it's freaking gorgeous, so you shouldn't even second guess it, um, make sure you go search swatches on Google because basically every single person that I've seen swatch this nail polish, it has looked completely different in each photo. Like I have not seen a single photo that makes it look like the same polish. So just keep that in mind. Maybe you don't like duochromes, but um, definitely check out the swatches of this one and definitely try to find it if you can because it's totally worth having. It's super pretty. It's called Choo Choo Choose You, and it is a purple polish with this awesome duochrome. And as you can see, it's kind of gold. It's kind of green. It's like this, all these crazy colors. It's so pretty. I don't know if any of you remember those chameleon polishes um, a long time ago. I don't even know if people know about those, but this is what it reminds me of. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh. I really want to insert that meme of like that cat breathing heavily because oh, this is so pretty. Like every, every way I look at it, like every different light, it's just something different. Like when I first got it, it was like super strong gold shimmer. And I was like, wow, this doesn't look anything like the swatches that I looked at. Now in this light, it's like green shimmer. So it's it's a crazy polish. Definitely pick this one up. On to the rest of them. Now that I like hyped that one up so much. The next one is All Aboard. This one is a purple cream. 
This one's really pretty. Really like this one. The next one is Nice Caboose. This one has some shimmer in it. This one is kind of like, it's like a raspberry, purple, red, with some shimmer in it. I kind of suck at describing colors, but this one's really pretty. I didn't expect this one to actually look like this when I ordered it. The next one is Conduct Yourself. This is another, this one's pretty dark. Not too dark, but I mean, it's dark enough that it's hard to show on camera. This one is like a red, it's almost like a brick red with shimmer in it. Yeah, it's like this weird, not, not that it's bad weird, but like it's this weird kind of pinky reddish purple brick color. I, I don't really know. It's pretty. Can we just call it pretty? We'll just call it pretty. This next one is one that I'm pretty surprised that China Glaze released as well. Um, just because you don't really see China Glaze release too many polishes like this. So it's a cream and it has flakes in it. So when I first ordered this, I thought it was just going to be a brown cream. It's called Lug Your Designer Baggage. And there you can see the flakies. This is so different from anything I've ever seen China Glaze release. And I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's a super cute fall color. I haven't tried it, so I'm not really sure if the flakies kind of get lost in the base. I don't think they will because it looks pretty... It looks like it's pretty dispersed through the base. Definitely, if you're looking for some fall polishes, definitely pick this one up. I'm even thinking about kind of making a fall nail polish favorites, and this will this will probably be in it. The next one is What Are You Afraid Of? This one is, I kind of want to say like a brown, but it's also kind of like a purpley reddish color. I don't know. I am so terrible at describing these colors. They're so borderline to other colors that it's hard to tell. So it's kind of like brown, red, purple mixed together. I don't know. The next one is Mind the Gap. This is a shimmer polish. The shimmer in this one sort of reminds me of the shimmer in Immortal by China Glaze, which is a gray. But this one is more kind of... Is taupey olive a good description? I'm not sure. It's kind of like a shimmery taupe, borderline light olive. Guys, I suck at describing colors. I'm sorry. The next one is well trained. And this one is a dark teal, I guess. Dark teal. It's cream. Really pretty. Really like this one. The next one. I was also super excited for this one is One Track Mind. This is a navy blue. And it's a cream. One Track Mind is one that you should definitely make sure you're wearing base coat with. Um, and maybe even double up on the base coat. Because this one is pretty pigmented and pretty dark. The same goes for um, Well Trained. This one's pretty dark and pigmented too. But not quite as bad as One Track Mind. I did have this, I think, on my nails when I very first got this giant thing of nail polish. And I had a spot on my nail where I kind of missed with base coat. And it left a little mark. So make sure you're doubling up on your base coat and make sure you get it like across your whole nail, especially, and be careful when you're taking it off too, because it will definitely like stain your nails as you're taking it off. The next one is Locomotive. And this one is another glitter polish. This one is super pretty for fall as well. This one is some very fine glitter. I want to say it's kind of like a gunmetal color. But for some reason, my eye wants to think it's purple. I think that's just the, I think that's just because of the bronze glitter in it as well. But I'm pretty sure it's like a dark gunmetal color. And there's super fine pieces of that gunmetal color. And then there's a little bit bigger pieces of that gunmetal color. And then, of course, there's the obvious kind of bronzy reddish gold pieces in there as well. This one's really pretty. This is one that I don't think you'll be able to get full coverage on. You might be able to if you apply it right. But this one is kind of one of those, 
it's almost opaque, but you can still see your nail with it. I would definitely recommend just doing like one thin coat of this over another color. And the last one is Stop That Train. And this is kind of like a burnt orangey, a little bit leaning to red. Not a huge fan of this one, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's a nice color for fall for those of you who kind of like this color, but not a huge fan of this one, but it is pretty. So that was the All Aboard collection. Overall, out of the collections that I got, I think, I think, my favorite collection is probably the Apocalypse of Color, just because the polishes are a little weird. I like weird polishes. I like that they're different. I will probably wear them all year um, with different stuff, because I feel like, except for like the blood splatter one, I feel like the other ones can definitely be incorporated into designs like throughout the year. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, the blood splatter one's pretty dang cool. I think the Halloween collection was my favorite, and then the All Aboard collection, just because I prefer darker colors, as I have a light polish on, that makes sense. But anyway, I usually wear darker colors because I think they're more flattering for my nails and my skin tone. Um, and then the Gibber collection I really liked, and then the, like I said, the offshore collection was kind of okay. So I'm sorry that I didn't have any swatches in this video except for the two that I have on. There are just so many polishes. Having the swatches in the video is just, it would make it even longer and it's already long. So if you guys want me to swatch, kind of live swatch them, um, each individual collection, I will. Let me know which ones you want to see first or if you're really interested in like a certain collection because I'll definitely do those first. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing the Halloween one first no matter what just because it's almost Halloween or it is Halloween um, depending on when I get this video up. But I'm going to do those first and if you want to see the other ones just make sure to let me know. If you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video that you're seeing, you can go ahead, if you want to, you can hit the subscribe button so you can see videos from me that I post in the future. I post hauls, nail art, I do a bunch of stuff on here. So if you have anything specific that you want to see, just make sure to let me know in the comments. And let me know down in the comments which collection was your favorite. Like I said, though, that will be the first one that I swatch. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both of them are Pack-A-Punch Nails. And also, don't forget to follow my blog. You can follow it with Blog Lovin'. I will have a link in the description. My website blog is packapunchpolish.com. I post different photos of my nail art and different nail polish swatches and other fun things. So if you want to follow along there, that'd be cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!